Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Webdev. In this video, we will see the practical implementation of the branching in the Git projects. So right now I am creating a new project. So I let me create a folder for this one. So let's assume that I am creating an e-commerce project. Okay. So e-commerce project. So let's move on to this project. Okay. I am initializing the Git. These are all the common working flow. So here it has initialized the Git empty repository. As soon as I, as soon as I initialized the Git, master branch has been created so right now we are in the master branch so what i will try to do i will try to create vi index.txt okay so i will create a file index.txt so in this index.txt i will write that so working on the e-commerce project something like like this we will write okay so close so i have saved so let's check the status so if I try to check the status, sorry, git status. So it is in the working area. Now I will try to add git add dot. If you try to give that git add dot, it will it will add every files, everything, whatever the files see there is there in the working area, it will be automatically added into the staging file, staging. So there is no need to mention each file name. So if you keep dot means it will add all the files, modified files into the staging area. Now if I try to see the git status, so here it is in the staging area. So now what I will try to do. So here I will commit git commit hyphen m. So I can write initial commit. Okay. So I have committed the file. So in the master we have made a initial initial commit. So now if I try to check the log git log. So we now we will be able to see the commit. So everything every action will be having one unique ID right. So SHA1. So this is the commit. So right now the head is in the master. So if you want to see it in the one line, so you can write git log hyphen hyphen one line. Sorry, on not online, one line. Okay, you will be able to see that hash, five digit hash and also here head is in the master and initial commit we have made. So right now in the, I am in the master. Now what I will try to do, I will try to create a new branch from here. So I want to implement a new feature that is nothing but the login feature. So let me clear out this one all. Okay, I am, I am creating a branch. So for creating a branch, I need to do git checkout hyphen b. <coughs> so let's assume that login underscore feature. I have created a new branch, login underscore feature. So I have switched to a new branch. So new branch has been created and it is switched back to the login feature. Right now, if you try to see here, I am in the branch login feature. So right previously I was in the master before checkout. Right now I am in the login feature after checkout. So now if I try to check the git log, okay git log so one commit is there and the head is pointing to the login feature okay and the master is also the same same commit so the same commit is in the login feature and the master head so as we have seen in the pictorial representation previously the same representation it is there so now what i will try to do here in this one i will try to create a new new folder that is nothing but login okay so mkdir login and in this login cd login I will go into the login and I will create vi login.txt file. Okay. So here I can write something like implementing implementing login feature. Okay. So now designing design the UI. Okay. UI HTML. So like this, we will write and I am saving this one. So if I try to check the status, okay, if I try to check the status here, so it, it is in here. So now we need to go back and here if it now if we try to see the status, so login has been there. So just add it everything at a time. So everything will be added. And if you try to see the status again, so it is good. no need to check all the time status. Just I am showing you that whether the file has been added. It is in the staging area. Now what I will try to do is git commit hyphen m. So implement login feature UI. Okay. So now I have committed. So now successfully we have committed. Now if you try to check git log. So now we are able to see the two commits before this one is in the master. So this is the master. This is the branch. This is the commit where the bra master branch is there. Now this is the new commit and the head is in the login feature. So previously how we have seen. So if you try to see git log hyphen hyphen one line. Now you will be able to understand easily. So now in the previous commit, the master is there in the previous commit only in the initial commit. Now the head has been moved and the login feature, new implement login feature UI is there. 
okay now we have, i have committed a new thing here now what i will try to do so let's move so let's clear it out i will i want to go back to the master so now if you try to see the ls command so here index.txt file is there and also a new folder has been there in the login folder and in this login folder if you try to see there is a login.txt so we are implementing a login login functionality in the login feature branch so now let's go back here <coughs> so now i will i will go back to the master branch so git checkout master so here i have, I have switched back to the master so we in order to change the branches what we need to do we need to type the command git checkout master so i have switched to the branch master right now i am in the master branch here so now if i if i check the ls here see only the index.txt file is there so previously if i type the ls command the login folder is also there but here right now in the master only the login file is there so why because so the login file and the commits everything is there in the login feature so if you try to check the git log here you will be able to see only one one commit okay initial commit only so the commit what we have made that is in the login feature branch only so that is the reason in the master branch that uh, commit is not there so that is the reason it is not it is not visible so if you try to see git log hyphen hyphen one line okay so now here only the one commit is there now what i will try to do i will try to do some changes in the master itself so now what i will do is so vi index.txt okay i will open this file changes sorry changes done in the index file something like this i am writing some some lines okay so i will sorry so i will try to save it okay i have saved it so if i try to check the status it is in the master branch you need to remember so now i am adding everything okay so now i am committing minor bug fixes or something like this okay minor bug fixes sorry so minor bug fixes okay so now i have committed so now if you try to check git log hyphen hyphen one line okay you need to you need to remember that minor bug fixes i need to i need i have committed in the master branch so now the head is in the master branch now what i want to do so now i want to move back to the login feature again i need to work in the login feature so now when i move back to the login feature what we need to do so now i have i can git checkout master okay sorry not master login underscore feature login underscore feature okay so now i shifted back to the login underscore feature now what i can do if i check git log hyphen hyphen one line now the minor bug fixes is not there here see the commit what i have made in the master branch minor bug fixes so the bu that bug fixes is not there in the login feature you will be able to observe so and another thing what i can say is so whatever the commits you are making in the master it will be there in the master branch only whatever the commits you are making in the branch another branch login feature branch it will be there in the in the login branch only okay so now if you try to see so these are the things and that's it so now in the master branch if you go if you want to go you can go back and you can say you, you can create an another branch also now if you want if i want to check what are the branches is there here if you type here see you will be able to see the list of all branches what are the branches present in this project you will be able to see all the list of branches so you need to type the command git branch so now the green color it is representing that that is the current branch right now you are pointing and the master branch is also there here so this is the practical implementation of the git branching so in the next video we will try to explore some more concepts in the branching thing so if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you